Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm here with my beautiful wife. And we are so glad today to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, we've been sharing our 10 years journey story with you. And I know you're being blessed by the Spirit of God. And our prayer has been that the Lord will use these words to influence your life and make things better for you. Remember, the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. As we share, our prayer is that wisdom is coming to your heart and then you learn how to apply it for your own situation. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Join us in faith as we make this demand. Say, Father, Father I, demand right now I demand right now for my daily bread, for my daily bread on, this day, on this day. I receive it from, receive you, it from you in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Angels, go. Angels, go. Bring everything I need. Bring everything for today. for today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we, we, we continue from yesterday and you were sharing, I think you were the yes. one talking yes. and telling how um, I told you how well, I said, I shared how I, I knew how I heard from the Lord that you are my wife and then by the Lord, I would I call that a proposal? So, I don't, it was not even a proposal. It was an information. <laughs> it was not like anything I dreamed about. I dreamed you know, about that. I'll be it's not. Serious. No, it's just. Okay, look. Oh, this is this is it's what the Lord formal. has said. Mm. Very formal. Very stiff. <laughs> God. Wow. Well, you know. So. Um, and then the Lord gave me wisdom on yeah. how to move forward with yes, it. And yes, then you went to speak yes. with your pastor's wife. Right, yes. And then she was like, I don't see anything wrong yes. with it. Yes. And I think after that meeting, now the funny thing about this is me, everyone, you know how you're like, come on, can you imagine what the Lord is saying to me? You're like, uh huh. Uh, didn't you know since like uh, we we're waiting for you exactly you know we we're waiting for i say come on i mean stop all these things what do you mean waiting for me <laughs> you know that, that i mean you know how look at you had a wonderful person in front of you and you were busy looking for me. you know looking for uh, all right please you should stop all that <laughs> like you know, no. you remember i said um I had several other signs that God used to tell me that this this was his will. You know, I was speaking with my pastor's wife and she kind of like calmed me down and I prayed about it. And I also, uh, your spiritual mom then, yeah. which is Mommy Kure, she's mm. still has, now a spiritual mom. I used to admire her a lot, but I was restricted to talk to her then because like I said, there were several people I could have gone to but I just didn't want, I felt like they were all in on my room, side, and they were all going to be on his side. So. <laughs> but now I now had the liberty to, you know, communicate my fears and my thoughts to other people of faith and then people that were also advanced in age and in marriage. And I started receiving lots of wise counsel. I still did not say yes to you then. I was still in the process of uh embracing this thought and seeing you know the possibility of it i remember that i asked god for three signs he confirmed two to me and then it was remaining one i had a dream a a, a funny dream you know why i remember it is how, when you said people were telling you that oh you saw this girl and they've been seeing the girl for you since but you were looking around for other people yeah. and then no, but, but, but i mean sincerely uh, there were at different times, you know, people were like, ah, oh, why don't you marry them? Ah, oh, please. You know, I got it, please. <laughs> so I had this dream, and in the dream, he, I was like, in, it just happened that I saw a roundabout, then I was standing there. I was just watching the scene, like you were there. And then you kept driving round the roundabout, you kept going round and round and round and round and round. And then, in the process, you now came and parked in front of me. Before you parked in front of me, it's like something happened along the way while you were going round, and you were really broken. You were really unhappy about it. 
in front of me and you stopped and you just started crying and i was like ah oh, everything will be fine please calm down everything will be fine everything will be fine so while i was just encouraging you in that dream i now woke up well i just discarded it and then i was talking to one of my friends in the u.s my childhood friend she's very close to me her name is christy so i was just we we're just gisting and then on the phone i don't even i didn't tell her anything about yeah. you as at them because like i said i didn't discuss him with anybody like i didn't even know how to talk about it because i was even uh what's the word what how will i even start explaining that this my daddy daddy everywhere daddy daddy my dad my dad my dad my father my father <laughs> he's now my fiance or he's now the one i want to get married to the magnitude of the discussion was too overbearing for me it was too much for me to even begin to comprehend just in it to anyone so i just i told myself let, let me just hope that this is a huge joke <laughs> <laughs> so it will just pass and then it's just between us yeah. and i was not asking god that if really was a joke i hope we can restore this the relationship <laughs> we had before because i'm now very conscious like ah, where i even asked him were you grooming me since <laughs> so that you will not come and just marry me like that eh? is that what i used to say you be when i say oh this person likes me you'll be checking 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 check. <laughs> so that you just be keeping me for yourself you know so I didn't tell her about anything. So that day we had one of our long calls because she's in the States. And while we we're talking, I just told her about the, um, the dreams I had. And I started just telling her about you and everything. And then she now said, but wait, till, that dream you had. She now said, God just gave me the interpretation of that dream. <laughs> and she told me that that round and round he has been going. It's more like him groping, looking for his wife. He has been asking God, who should I marry? Okay, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's not this one. Da, da, da. And now coming finally to you, it's like, this is, this is my number stuff. <laughs> my eye just opened. I'm like, oh, no wonder. It is true. Oh, okay. I said thank you to her. We talked, we prayed. I told her, pray for me. I'm still, you know, like I'm still trying to settle with this thing, but I'm not giving him any response yet. As I as I speak with you, I'm not even talking to him yet because I see talking. I wasn't even talking to him at all. Like, don't, don't even say anything to me. I wasn't even talking praise, to him at all. So praise she now, God. and when she she said that to me, I took it in. And I started processing it as well with several other people that, you know, I spoke to. Yeah. So I now had the, you know, I had, as the days grew on, like as the days passed, I, I got more uh, confident about the whole thing. I started processing it. And the more I talked to other spiritual people, I remember even talking to your uncle who was then like, my godfather is still a father to me like god just blessed me with wonderful people really around me and one thing daddy said was we call him daddy daddy was like has he ever done anything that is going to make you scared of him in the future even while he was your pastor i said no he said wouldn't you rather marry someone that you are going to be safe with that you're going to be comfortable with than for you to just be scared of like all these fears that you are having can you say he's a good man i think that was like mm. the, the summary of what he was trying to say is he a good man or is someone that you, you, you don't have any confidence and i said ah, he's a good man i can't doubt that so he was like then just calm down pray about it keep praying about it and then as God is talking to you, relax your mind. Don't be scared of tomorrow. Why you're even living today? Nah, you know, this you was know, an elderly man talking. You know, like the Bible said, and, and this is one thing to get from this. In the multitude of, of counselors, counsel. there is safety. safety. And sometimes we make this mistake of thinking, I have heard from God, I have heard from God, so I don't need to talk to anybody. Talk to anybody. Now, the voice you heard have to be tested mm -hmm. and you should never be afraid to test mm -hmm. the voice of God that you have heard. If you just heard something and you, you're hurting it and then it's controlling your life mm -hmm. now. And, and then I understand also when we say test the voice you have heard, yes. you must 
test it in the midst of godliness. Mm -hmm. You don't go test the voice you've heard with unbelievers. Mm -hmm. You don't say, oh God, I've told me something. Let me go and ask this, my unbeliever friend. friend. Say, I want to marry pastor. Past, past waiting. <laughs> you won't suffer. You understand that kind of a thing. Now, now understand the, the people. That's why God will place you in the midst of um, people, the right God kind of people. people. And, and that's the thing, you know. Yes. If if you if you're not surrounded by godly people, and I think I said this the last time or last week, yes. then you should begin to question the environment you you dwell in, the environment you live in. As a child of God, there is there is a community of godly people that God will put around you. Your church members, even in your church members, not everybody that is godly in your church. In your church, you should have your own company, just like the Bible said, Peter. You know, when they were threatened, they went to their own company. Now, that's not the assembly of all the believers then. That was the, the a company of a few believers who had like minds in the things of the Spirit. So, now, when they got to their own company, you see what happened. The Bible says they decided to pray. Mm -hmm. And because they were of one mind, they prayed and God answered. answered. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Now, if, if they had just gone to certain people mm -hmm. and say, see what's going on, and say, ah, Peter, be careful, no. Mm -hmm. This is our preaching, preaching thing. We should apply wisdom, wisdom. to it. Exactly. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Now, now, that's the same thing. When you receive words from the Lord, there must be people who are trusted. Mm -hmm. Now, this can be your spiritual authority, spiritual yes. authorities God have placed in your life yes. now it, it doesn't mean they will all understand perfectly what's, what's but then because you submit to, to them, them yeah the spirit of god in that community because you are sincere i think that's another thing mm -hmm. your heart have to be sincere yes so you sincerely share with them these are my concerns yes. and god seeing your heart that you're not just trying to cajole people to... God seeing your heart will, will minister to you through them. Yes. I think first and foremost, your heart matters. Yes. If your heart is not right with God, mm -hmm. for example, just like what God said in Jeremiah, mm -hmm. that um, God was talking to Jeremiah, said, these people came to me with idol mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. heart. Right. So I will answer, answer them according to the idol in, in their, their hearts. Heart. Now that's when you already have something in your mind. You know, some people are that way. I There's mean, something you already want we, to we, don't, we, we, we pastor people, so uh, we counsel people. Right. And there are times people will come to you and they'll be telling you stories and you'll be looking for what is this person driving at? Say, yeah. And then you now have to switch and say, okay, Holy Spirit, come talk to me. What's <laughs> going on? Because the person is not coming out plain. Right. Not being sincere. Now that's like having an idol. You, yeah. They have something in their hearts that they 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 want to use you to so give them the go ahead. ahead. Yes, yes. They don't yes. say, "Oh, Pastor Tuba told me mm. to do this." Meanwhile, they didn't tell Pastor Tuba the, the whole, whole truth. Story. Exactly. So, being sincere, number one, opens you up for the Holy Spirit to help Speak. you. Yes. Now, when you when you hear a story, and and we're not hiding anything from you, when you hear a story, you will see that sincerity in a heart now that's the sincerity by which we approach god on this matter and then that's the same sincerity that we shared with people mm -hmm. who mattered like yes. look this is my concern yes. <laughs> you, <understand>? I can't <laughs> yeah. you know I, I think i shared it with uh, mommy curry that time okay. you know when i like see what god is saying that's like hey, so what's your problem <laughs> i said my problem I don't want to marry a wife that I would despise. Now, that was my concern. Mm -hmm. I don't want to marry a wife that I would despise. I don't want to marry a wife that I would look at as small. Mm -hmm. And I remember her telling her, wait until you marry her. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are, there are some words you hear that you be like, do I think I want to... To experience to it. <laughs> like, not to it. What's going to happen? Is she going to change? Well... You know, all those things going through, going through your mind. You know, talking about mommy, I remember when you told me, you know, later, mm. after we got married, that because I was also, I remember there was a young man that was, I was like beginning to like 
get attracted to beginning to like and he too was acting kind of like you know when a, a guy is just fond of you and then he's not saying anything precisely but in your mind you're like okay if he says something i'm just going and i'll be just seeing you you told me you told mommy mommy Kure. mommy Kure said, you see you're wasting time you're wasting time <laughs> you're wasting time bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's just by the way I'm just remembering you know some of the things that can even cause delay yeah you know you delay when God says you should do something and then you might even delay sometimes and you miss it I mean, exactly when you're not supposed to exactly yeah. so putting God's word to test mm. is not something you should be afraid of doing mm. because you see, if it's God's word, then it's God's word. Yes. If he has said it, it will come to pass. Let him be the one. He, you, we are not the ones that force the word of God to come to pass. Yes. Before he said it, he has concluded the matter. So we just participate in the fulfillment of that word. And that's when trusting in the Lord step by step. And like, you know, this whole thing now, watch now. Even after I, I said it, there were lots of seeming confusion, you know, to the point that even I was ready to back out. Yes. Because um, I like, no, nah, I didn't like this. I didn't like My the whole, I didn't right. like the whole appearance. I didn't like the whole way you started acting. Yes. You know, it was, I mean, no, it was like, look, what, what kind of trouble? This is what I said. <laughs> this is what I said. This is, I, I, I was shocked by the response, but, but it, it's, it, it well, like it kept, it, it's worse. like this. It, I mean, did I sin? <laughs> did I sin? You know, did I do what did I do wrong? Yes, no. Or <laughs> I, I said you no, know, and then I didn't even want to talk to you again. Like, no, 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 we are not talking again. Like, no, no, no. You know, Don't so, take of me. <laughs> so we got through all that stage, and then you came around and like, okay, you started asking all the questions. Mm -hmm. Look, can you, are you sure? Are you sure this is what God wants? Yes, I also like, I don't want any competition. I have, I have a simple life, oh, because you know, I've been your daughter, I've been around you. I've, I've, I've seen, like I said, there, there were people that I personally would feel like, ah, I would like, ah, Pastor, see, this is your daughter, or this um, person that uh, is. Is in the ministry. This lady, ah, she's she's looking so good. I'll even be talking to you about people, you know. Mm. So I felt like I don't want I don't want to measure up. You know, when you try to ah, let me measure up to my husband. I, I was just comfortable growing at my pace. Praise God. Growing at the way God was leading me. I didn't want to come and do too much to impress you. Yeah. Just so that I can be that pastor's wife. Mm -mm. Praise God. You know, and all. <laughs> so I had so many questions to ask him. So one of the major questions I asked you then was, okay, so apart from God telling you, oh, uh, I'm your wife. Why do you want to marry me? Precisely. Yeah, that's a very important question. Why do you want to marry me? I remember the key thing that you said, amongst other things, that got to me was that you said you have you have watched me literally grow, and you have seen that anything I want to do, I'll tell you. Oh, let me talk to God about it. That sometimes even you will tell me something, and I'll say, Oh, I need to talk to God about it. Then I say, okay, God has confirmed it. Sometimes you even, you know, in our conversations or in something that you even want me to do, I'll look at it and say, okay, let me still talk to God about it. Can you give me a few minutes to talk to God about it? So you told me that since I keep doing that and you are also subject to the word of God. So you know that as long as we are both listening to the word of God yeah. in this marriage, then it's going to work. It's going yeah. to be the will of God. No, I think that's that's another thing because so sometimes uh, this is very very important. <clears throat> God tells you something, yes, but then you have to own it. Yes. If God is telling you to take a decision concerning something, you don't just say because there are people who get married. To me, this is my wife, mm -hmm. and they are struggling. They are struggling okay. in in the marriage. Oh, yeah. And then you now ask them, say, if it's not that God told me. Mm. You see, now, the fact that God have told you 
doesn't mean you are going to enjoy the marriage. Mm. Enjoying the marriage has a lot of things for you to do in terms of submitting to the God. will of God. Yes. Now, submitting to the will of God is not just that word that came, mm. this is your wife. Mm -hmm. Submitting to the will of God is going back to the Lord and said, okay, I know God will not tell a lie. I know God cannot be wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are the what are the advantages of this thing? And that's where your mind comes into play. Mm -hmm. And that's why God has given us a mind. Yeah. So now he tells us his word to aid our decision making. making yeah. But then in your decision making, you've got to own it. You've got to look at that thing mm -hmm. and say, okay, God is telling me to look in this direction. Yes. What is here? Mm -hmm. And then you begin to look. Then the, you, this is you now. Mm -hmm. Ideas things will begin to open up. And that's where, because I asked the Lord the same question, like, okay, because I don't want to marry a robot. I don't want to marry, sit down here. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Do this, do this. No. I, I, I began to think about it. I'm like, what's good in this lady for me as a wife? You are wonderful as a daughter, mm. but now as a wife. And then the Lord began to open my mind and open my understanding to see those, those things hidden kind of hidden qualities yes yeah. and then my my resolve for many years have been this there is nothing no decision i take without knowing the mind of god concerning that decision yeah. and then somehow over the years you have grown to be that kind of a person too now Yes, it's natural to say I influenced you yeah. in that area. But then beyond me now, mm -hmm. I can look at you and say, I can trust your decision making. Mm -hmm. Now, like, I mean, this is years of relating together. Mm -hmm. There are things that have happened. There are experiences mm -hmm. that you have gone through. Mm -hmm. And your decisions turned out right mm -hmm. by you yielding your mind to the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. So that's the conclusion I came to beyond all the is she a fine girl is she can she cook now those things are very important also praise god oh true very important but the most important part that got me like this is comfortable for me is the fact that i know you will not take any decision on your own without being clear that that's what god wants you to do and and i think that's the perfect bond that that's that's the perfect ingredient in a mm, marriage yes. or relationship mm, that will keep venture. that any venture mm. that will keep that relationship for life yes. now what does that mean it doesn't matter how angry i get about something mm -hmm. i will not take any decision until i hear god tell me this mm -hmm. is the decision to me mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how angry you are mm -hmm. you will not take any decision until so that that's that's the bond because yes. now i'm angry you know i'm just thinking now i'm angry and then i go to the lord can you imagine i'm angry and then he says my friend go and love your wife <laughs> you know oh. as, as, we progress, as we progress in this um broadcast yeah this hearing the voice it's, thing is going to you man like god will help us you man will shall live by every, every word that yes. proceeds from, from the, the mouth, mouth of god, of god. Yes. meaning if your actions are not in response to words that come out from the word of god from the, the mouth, mouth of god, god you are in debt that, yeah, that, yes. it's debt mm. if if your marriage is now now while we're sharing all these things which is because we want to show you that the beginning of this thing was from the mouth Word. of god yeah now it's so that means there is life yes and then going forward at every step words came from the mouth of god so at every junction we get life is injected every junction we get life is injected praise god our time is oh. up for today praise god hey god is going to we bless you. Mm -hmm. Things are going to turn out marvelously for you. Fear not. I believe this year, God wants to turn things around. Mm -hmm. If you're married, share this message with your husband mm -hmm. or your wife. 
If you're together, I mean, if you're in the same house, listen to it together. Have discussions about it. If you're not in the same town or whatever, send, say, listen to this and let's talk about it. And if you have not liked our, or subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please do so and help us broadcast this message. And the Lord bless you marvelously in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.